Use your arrows to bro Sebastian Ma. April 26 Fred Hoiberg head coach of the Chicago Bulls looks on during the third quarter of Game 5 of the Eastern Conference quarterfinals against the Boston Celtics at TD Garden on April 26, 2017 in Boston, Massachusetts. Note to user user expressly acknowledges and agrees that, by downloading and or using this photograph, user is consenting to the terms and conditions of the Getty Images License Agreement. Photo by Matty Meyer Jetty Images Lori Markinen drafted number 7 overall Zach Lavin trade from Minnesota Kristen trade from Minnesota Justin Holiday signed from New York Quincy Pondexter trade from New Orleans Diamond Stone signed from Los Angeles Clippers Jimmy Butler trade to Minnesota Agent Rondo signed with New Orleans Michael Carter Williams signed with Charlotte Joffrey Lovern signed with San Antonio Isaiah Canant we and wait the obvious big move of the summer was the trading of the face of the franchise three-time all-star Jimmy Butler Years of speculation of Butler's departure finally happened as he was dealt to the Timberwolves on draft night. Mixed reviews and opinions of the deal still run rampant in the NBA community with the return on Butler headlining the debate. Notably, the Chicago Bulls also agreed to a buyout with Dwyane Wade. He is now an unrestricted free agent, and his stint with his hometown Bulls is officially over. The Bulls' future is now in the hands of a young core of players with little NBA experience. Robin Lopez is still around for now, to mentor and provide leadership. Clearly the Bulls are heading in the direction of a complete rebuild. Reliance on young players who are going to need to develop, while playing big minutes on top of other teams surpassing them in talent, don't really add up to wins. The Bulls have only been under .500 once in the last decade including reaching the playoffs in 11 of the last 13 seasons. Fans and the league should expect this to be the worst bull season since 200,304. Use your arrows to browse.